Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect Google Tasks to Microsoft To Do. Here, my objective is that as soon as a new task will be created in Google Task, automatically that same task should also be created in Microsoft To Do. So, how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Google Task and Microsoft To Do, and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pavli Connect. So, Pavli Connect runs on two principles: trigger and action. Here, our trigger will be Google Task and our action will be Microsoft To Do. And we will connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn the entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Microsoft To Do task from Google Tasks. So here, basically, we are going to sync our Google Task and Microsoft To Do task in such a way that whenever a new task will be created in Google Task, automatically the same task will also be added in Microsoft To Do. All right. So for creating this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect, and with the help of this, we are going to create the automation without any coding or programming skills. So basically, we are going to set up a connection between Google Task and Microsoft To Do with the help of Pabli Connect. This is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by typing the URL pabli.com/connect. After coming here, we can find two options: sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get hundred free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I am directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Fably Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created, and we can also create folders here to save the workflows. As you can find, I have multiple folders over here. I have created them in order to save my workflows accordingly on my dashboard. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this Create Workflow option, which is given on right corner with blue color. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Create Microsoft To Do task from Google Task. All right. So after giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select this Microsoft To Do and Google Task Automation folder, and let's click on Create. As we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger, and the other is action. What are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two concepts or the principles on which the entire automation runs. Here, the trigger says when this happens, and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow, and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, let's suppose we are going to take Google. Task in our trigger and Microsoft To Do in our action, and we want that as soon as a new task will be created in Google Task, automatically the same task should also be added in Microsoft To Do. So here we can find that the action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the task is being created in Google Task, then only it is added in Microsoft To Do, otherwise not. Okay, okay. So after understanding this concept, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, here we are going to select our trigger application, and here our trigger application will be Google Task, that is Task Board. Okay, so we will go back towards Pabli Connect, and here we are going to search Google Task. Let's select it. So this is our trigger application. Now the next which we have to select is trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So new task will be our trigger event. It will trigger when a new task is created. That means whenever a new task will be created, the response will be captured here, and with that response, the workflow is going to trigger automatically. So we have selected the trigger event, and now we will click on connect. From the given options, I am going to select Add New Connection to build a new connection with Google Task account. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. After selecting the connection, let's click on Sign In with Google, and here we will select our account. As we have done that, now Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Google account. It is hundred percent safe, so let's click on Allow. And with this, our authorization has become successful. So now my Google task is successfully connected with Pabli Connect, and it is asking us to select the list on which the task is created. The response will be captured here in Pabli Connect. So here I have only one list, my task. So whenever a task will be created in this particular list, the response will be automatically captured. So I have selected the list, and now when we are going to click on the Save and Send Test Request button, we are going to receive the response of the last task added in Google Task because Google Task works on the polling time of ten minutes. Minutes. Therefore, it is going to capture the response in every ten minutes. So, for receiving our latest response, first of all, we have to go towards our task board, and then we have to create a new task over here. 
So I'm going to add a task in my list. So let's say the task is. So I have added a task over here. The name of the task is group discussion. And this is the description. Group discussion of the hired candidates for recruitment. Okay. So this is the detail of the task. Now I'm going to add the date and time. So let's say the date is 15th February. And here the date is added. Thursday 15th February. Now here we have created the task. We will go back towards Fabric Connect. And here we are going to click on save and send test request button. And as we have done that, we can find that we have received the response of the latest task added in Google task. So here is the title group discussion. This is the status that means needs action. This, this is the date on which the task is scheduled. And here is the notes that means group discussion with the hired candidates. All right. So this means that the connection between Google task and public connect is successful. So now whenever a new task will be created in our Google task list, automatically after 10 minutes, the response will be captured over here. So now we will move further and our objective is to add the same task in Microsoft to do for that. We are going to connect our Microsoft to do account with public connect. So let's select our action application as Microsoft to do. After selecting the application here, we have to select the action event that will be create task. Okay, let's click on connect. And now from the given options, once again, we are going to select add new connection to build a new connection with Microsoft to do account. Now let's click on connect with Microsoft to do button. And here Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Microsoft account. Let's click on accept as it is 100% safe. And as we have done that, we can find that our authorization has become successful. Now, after connecting Microsoft to do with Pabli Connect, let's move further. Here it is asking us the task list in which we want to create the task. So I'm going to take you towards my Microsoft to do account. And here I have two task lists. I want to create task in this task list. All right. So I want that as soon as a new task will be created in Google task, automatically that same task should be also added here in this particular list. So I'm going to go back and I want to select the same list, which is selected over here as task. Okay, the next is the task title. What is the title of the task? Because we want to create the task which is already created in Google task and we have received the response from Google task earlier also. So we will simply map the data over here. Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here are all the details. We want to map the task title which is given over here as group discussion. Let us select it and it is mapped. So as we have mapped this title, it has become dynamic. That means now with each and every new response, it is going to change. So now whenever a new task will be created in Google task, automatically the task title is going to be replaced in this particular field. And in this way, we are going to automate the entire process. But in case if you will enter it manually by typing or copy and pasting, then it would have become static and then it is not going to change with each and every response. Therefore, in order to automate the entire process, we have used mapping. The next is the task note. What is the note for the task? That means the description of the task. So here we will map the description description as well. This is the notes group discussion of the hired candidates for recruitment. Here is the category if you want to select. So I'm going to select the orange category for this. Okay. And now we have to select the task priority. I'm going to select normal priority for each and every task. And now it is asking us the task status. So here I'm going to select not started as the task status. Now it is asking us for the due date time and the other details. So it is given that we need to enter the due date time in this particular given format. So let's check whether we have received the time in the same format or not. And here we can find that yes, we have received the date and time in the same format. So we have selected that year, month, date and the time. Okay, now the next is that due time zone. So what is the time zone? Because I reside in India here, we follow Asia Kolkata time zone. So I'm going to enter Asia Kolkata over here. So you need to enter your country's time zone over here in the due time zone. And then here, if you want, you can also enter the reminder date or reminder date time zone. All right. After entering all these details, let's click on save and send test request button. And here we can find that yes, the response is received. In the response, we have also received the ID of this task. That means the task is already created in our Microsoft to do account. Let's go and check. And yes, here we can find that a task is recently added over here with orange category. The due date is also given over here as tomorrow. And this is the task group discussion of the hired candidates for recruitment. This means that the workflow is perfectly successful. Now what we are going to do, we will test this workflow once again here in Google task. I'm going to add one more new task and we will see that after 10 minutes automatically the same task will also be added in Microsoft to do. Okay, so I'm going to click on this add a task button. And here this time I'm going to add, let's say, a test task. Okay, this is a test task. I'm going to add a date over here, let's say 15th and done. 
so the task is created now we will wait for 10 minutes and we will see that after 10 minutes automatically the same test task will be added over here okay so let's wait for 10 minutes and yes after 10 minutes we can find that test task is added over here in the orange category this means that the workflow is running perfectly fine let's go back towards fabric connect and we will summarize what we have done here in the workflow so we have connected google task and microsoft to do in such a way that now whenever a new task will be created in google task automatically after 10 minutes the same task will also be added in microsoft to okay so in this way you can very easily create this automation by following the same steps if you want you can also use the same workflow for your automation i will attach the link on this workflow in the description of the video i hope this was helpful for you up till then thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications by using pably connect now if you have any doubt you can directly reach out to us at support at the red if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pably.com and if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations